Hello everyone, my name is Ali Agar from the Data School's 23rd cohort at the Information Lab. In this video I am going to show you what you can do with the dashboard layout options in Tableau. This will equip you to create beautiful dashboards that help users follow the story and discover insights. Let's get started. Arguably the most important layout option for dashboards is the size layout which will have enormous knock-on effects on the rest of your design. Tableau gives three types of sizing. First, there is fixed size, which can be one of the generic sizes, or we can use a custom sizing, where you can set the number of pixels you want your width and your height to have. There is automatic sizing, which expands the dashboard to the size of the screen. There's also a range, which is an in-between option between automatic and fixed size, where you can fix the minimum or the maximum and set the sizes for those. This will allow the dashboard to change size depending on the screen size but it will set limits on how far that can go. For our purposes, let's use a desktop browser. Let's go to the layout options to explore what options we have here. You may notice that everything is grayed out. This is because I haven't selected anything in the dashboard itself. Let's select our chart in the middle. Pay attention to the title because the first option, when you click or unclick, it will show or hide the title. A different way to do that is to right click on the title and press hide title. Let's get the title back in. The second option is whether to float the item or not. If I tick it, that floats the item. If I untick it, that puts it in any space available. This isn't necessarily the space you want it to, so a more flexible option is to go to this uh, area up here, hold shift and right click, and move the item where you want. If you keep holding shift and let go of your mouse, this will be a floating item, and you can do the same thing vice versa to drop the item where you want it. The positional and size options only really work for floating items. So let's grab the whole container and float it. You notice that now everything is the wrong size. Therefore, I want the whole container to be the size of the dashboard as a whole. The first step is to position it on the top left. So I want an X axis position of zero and a Y position of zero. To change the size to the size of the whole dashboard, I want the width to be 1000. You may remember that's the option we chose and the height to be 800. This floating item is now covering the entire dashboard. I think the chart in the middle needs to be separated from the title and the credits on the bottom. So let's select the chart Let's go to the border and add one of the options. Let's make it really obvious and big. We can now change the background as well to create more of a separation. You should note that the worksheet formats color always overlays that background that we chose. I will choose no background here. The next option is outer padding, which is padding outside of the border. You can have all the sides as equal, or you can click the checkbox or the padlock to choose different sizes for different parts. We can also add inner padding, which is padding 
inside of the borders. This works similarly to the outer padding. You notice that the space between the border and the edges are the outer padding, the space between the title or the rest of the chart and the border is the inner padding. Finally, we get to the item hierarchy. This is showing us the containers and the items in the order they appear in a Z pattern. So we have our vertical, everything contained in that in order. And if we had other items, they will appear below it. Let's go with a horizontal container, put it inside the vertical, put the subtitle inside it and the credit next to it. If we go back to layout and to the item hierarchy, you can see that we still have the vertical container. Within it, we have the horizontal container, which contains in turn our title and credits. And below the horizontal container, we have our chart. Thank you for watching this video on using the dashboard layout options. I hope you now feel more confident in creating dashboards that are both insightful and look good. If you enjoyed this video, you may also like my colleague Valeria's video on adding divider lines to a dashboard.